pleasure. In any city, in any country, go to any house, as long as the building is mostly intact and empty, apart from yourself, it doesn't matter which. See if there is an attic present. If not, choose another household. Once you have chosen an attic, slowly make your way up. I wouldn't advise bringing any light source with you. Unless, that is, you prefer seeing the horrors and demons that detest all artificial light up there. As soon as you set foot in the attic, make your way to the west end and pause. Close your eyes and relax. You can make noise as you wait. This holder doesn't mind. If you can feel no sensations for a while, and just hear a thundering silence, then turn around quickly and open your eyes. Slowly go down back into the house, and never go back into an attic for the rest of your days. Wait until something draws a large feather across your face, and then suddenly lifts you up. It is important you do not panic at this point. Doing so would mark you as sure prey for the rock that has taken you up in its gargantuan claws. Open your eyes now. You will be amongst the clouds, and the sun is setting smoothly into the horizon. Despite the obvious danger of falling, you unnaturally cannot feel any fear, only a sense of serenity. Rushing warm air and the steady beats from the rock will lull you near to sleep eventually. Fight this feeling to the best of your abilities. Then try to look at the other claw. An ubilet cage containing a homely and exotic-looking woman or man swings back and forth suspended on a single claw. Suddenly you will feel the rock land on an isolated clip-top lathered in fog. It will let you go gently, and the cage containing the mysterious stranger, and then fly off tirelessly. Look at the stranger. You can talk to them, but they won't say anything you understand. Their language sounds fleeting and hides a surprisingly deep accent. Try to free them, but you will find that they are locked in the cage from the outside. The only way out would be to find a key. Mention that you want to find a key. Draw one if necessary. The stranger points down a steep slope, leading to a now fog-free beach. Nod, smile at them, and then make your way down carefully. Once at the beach, you will find that instead of sand, the entire area is covered in keys of all shapes sizes and color. You need to find a solid gold key amongst the thousands that lie in wait. This may take decades of effort, and you must keep both yourself and the stranger well fed and rested in the time that passes. I've heard the sharks are particularly tasty surrounding this island. Once you have found the key, the joy will be overwhelming for you. Make your way back to the cage. The stranger will now be extremely thankful for your help over these harsh years. As soon as you free them, ask. Do they know of the treasure? Depending on your gender or sexual orientation, the stranger will start to flirt with you and will lead you to the beach slowly. Do not resist them and follow gently. They will make sure you are fed and watered, and then build a shelter surprisingly quickly and skillfully. Rest in this shelter once it is complete, and let them make love to you. Once finished, you will soundly drift off into a dreamless sleep. When you wake up, you will be back in the bed in the place you call home. The stranger from the island will lay beside you. 
and will follow you and comfort you wherever you go in your travels from now on. They will be the perfect life companion by being imperfect. Learn their language and treat them well. Should the stranger physically die, or otherwise, they will be back by your side when you wake, ready to start the day anew. The stranger is object 328 out of 538. They will be the seeker's reward. <laughs>